warning, this video is intended for audience who are 13 or older. If you are not 13 or older, please fuck off and tell your parents to moderate what you watch online. Alright, I forgot how ugly Tokyujur as a Megazord actually looks. I forgot how impractical and just obnoxiously blocky that thing is. Like, I know what they were going for, but man, I really felt that they could have gone a... Right? They could have definitely gone like a way better direction with that thing you know instead of just having them all line up like that right like like i'm pretty sure transformer had like a had like a train robot team right that were that that combined to to form like a to form like a big robot i don't know why they didn't do something like that well, what was that thing called uh transformer nope that's trainer i want transformer train what are they called train team what was it oh boy that's steam no, I don't. Oh, man, I found some cool Transformer, some Steampunk Transformer train. Don't know what the deal with that one is. All right, I'll look at it later. All right, uh, let's see. Was it Train Team with the... What were they called? Team Bullet Train? Yeah, that thing looks cool. I don't remember how they transform. So um, I'm going to quickly go look at a go look at a uh, video of, of where they transferred. Fuck, ah, uh, man, I cannot find an easy Henshin transformation clip of them combining oh okay 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 all right, all right. i think i found all right let's, let's see how how three uh, even though it's three traits i'm pretty sure it's like the same principle right right well you could just have them combine right to do the exact same thing right all right yeah well yeah well one yeah well one chain was the what's that became like the head he, like he like the middle part one chain became like the arms yeah you definitely could have adapted that to like a five person train right and make that thing look way better but man Man, uh, Tokyujur, oh, where the fuck this thing was called, right? It's just ugly as fuck, and I fucking hate it, right? But it doesn't matter. Akira still wants to kill himself by the end of the day, right? All right, hey, it's Bakukage Sentai Bonbunger episode 32, Hell's Train. Um, it is the Tokyujur crossover. It's finally happening. Look, it's 10 years, you know, right? Uh, Toei somehow had enough money to get back Junji Shisong, right? Uh, to be, to be in this movie right now. Now he's a re real actor, which is, uh, which is, which is like, um, uh, I didn't realize they had the budget for that. So, um, uh, right. Right, so, um, yeah, it is the quote-unquote Tokyo. He's only here, like, like the Go Onger crossover, it is, he's only here for one episode, uh, him and Akira, uh, he's only for, and Akira doesn't even transform this episode, which I think is a great, and ah, I can't believe did not let him transform, you know, I, they should have let him and fill in the role of Gemba, and then don't he, he just be like, oh, man, it's so great being the Orange Ranger of your guys' team, you know, it's amazing, you know, man, I really wish... I'm, hey, you guys see an orange ranger? Can I be the orange ranger uh, uh, on your team? You know, right? Yeah, so, um, so, uh, Gemba is still a little bitch. He got his ass beat, and he's like, oh, man, hey, put me back in, coach. Hey, look, hey, look, I didn't hear no bell. I can fight again, you know? Um, ignore the fact that I'm still internally bleeding, and I have all this wound over me, right? I, I, I'm still losing it right now, right? Yeah, so, um... So Sakito uh, picks him up, him and him and Boom B like, hey, hey man, they're like, man, you got your ass beat real good, you know, right? So uh, that was not good. You should really just stop, right? Yeah, but uh, uh, Akira is here. He's like, man, you you got your ass beat, man. I I wasn't even there, and I, and I can tell you got your ass beat, you know, right? Yeah, so pretty much the crux of this episode is Akira trying to tell Gemba to stop being a... Hey, like, like even though he wants to kill himself, right? He tells Gemba, hey, you don't have to kill yourself, you know, right? That's not the way, you know? That's not the trained lifestyle, you know, right? Just because I'm a drifter, you know, m most of the time, uh, right? And, and all I do is go from town to town doing stuff, right? That doesn't mean there's there's more to life than, than living, you know, right? And then uh, this week's enemy is like some weird train monster that... uh. Ishita accidentally made, right? And everyone does the Congo line. Um, oh boy, hey, yeah. Also, beginning they hint at at the at the power of the stupid champion jacket form bullshit that Boom D is just made with just conventional. Um, yeah, it's just like you just make like your upgrade by using an Earth sewing machine. So, uh, there there you go, right? Yeah, but everyone um they recreate the movie of Speed, but with a train. If you think about it, right? That's exactly what this episode, uh, what uh, railroad. Auto Machine is called, right? I don't, I'm pretty sure that's his name. I really don't care about this guy's name. He's just, he's just really here, you know, right? He's like, yeah, hey, man, you guys ever see that movie Speed with Keanu Reeves, you know? Right, that movie was cool, you know? I, I might have been born like five minutes ago, but even I know what the movie Speed is, right? Yeah, so, um, 
The only way for Genba to get over himself is to do sumo wrestling with Sakita. Which, once again, I still think that the relationship with Sakita and Genba is really, really big of a stretch. Right? Like, the only thing that they both have against death rates is revenge. But both of them have, like, their motivation for revenge is such so fucking... It's so disconnected, right? The fact that, like... If anything, it's only the fact that, that, that they only know death rates as their common base. Right? It's, it's, right? Again, but wants it for pure revenge. And, and Saki feels like, hey, man, I just want to get paid. You know, I did that job. You pay me. Right? I, look, I spent... Look, I, look, man. Hey, this is why you should always take the payment up front, you know? Or at least get half. Right? But, yeah... Yeah, Gimba's being a little bitch. Uh, Sakito tries to uh, talk him out of stopping a little bitch and to get over himself already. Like, hey, man, everyone, everyone has a path of revenge, you know, right? That's the, that's nothing, that's nothing new. Yeah, you know, right? I, I, I get in line, right? You're not the first person to get to want to want revenge, right? You know, right? No one told you to quit your team like an idiot, and 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 and, 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 and then you get your ass kicked, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Akira hears it, he's like, yeah, man, that fucking sucks, you know, right? That that reminds me about about, about my own personal jo- journey, right? Where where I want to just kill myself one day, you know, right? Uh, that that is that is how my that is how I'm gonna equip my life story to your to your personal for your personal ju- uh for your personal uh tragedy, you know, right? Yeah, we are the same, you and me, you know, right? You want to get revenge, I want to kill myself, right? Uh, that's that's common grounds for for both of us. Right, but yeah, then everyone else get get gets caught in the in in the in the conga lines, right? Um, nobody here knows what the fuck a Tokyo is. They think there's just some unhinged, some crazy guy that, that some crazy drifter that talks about killing himself and plays the harmonica. They're like, they're like, okay, man, I hope you took your medicine today. Boy, I hope, I hope, man, I hope the reason you're on this tree was to escape your town, you know, right where you have to take where you have to take medicine all all the time, right? Yeah. So um yeah man uh they cannot uh they cannot defeat the train monster because uh, like I said it's the movie speed you know but uh they figure out the best way to do it is uh just to get him into a perpetual loop into a uh, like a, like a like a complete loop he's like oh yeah man hey all right uh we got him we'll just uh make him go in a circle you know this this will work right and then all of a sudden oh hey oh it's right it's right not light you know right uh, from from Tokyo you know he's back uh it's it's just him in the suit uh you know. Right, uh, cause uh, like I said, they can only get him to do voices and f- for like a five second cameo, you know, he shows back and tickets here too, man. Uh, I completely forgot about this stupid little robot thing. I mean, not a robot, it's like a hand puppet, right? I completely forgot about Ticket in uh in Tokyo Jer because Tokyo Jer has a bunch of weird, wacky side character, you know, like the sexy robot girl and the conductor who's just a shit poster most of the time. He's like, yeah, man, uh, hey man, I'm here too, you know, like what's up, you know, hey, check out my check out my stupid puppet, right? Yeah. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. So they uh break the train loop. Everyone transform and um right except uh except Akira. Akira at at no point transformed during this entire fight, yo. Like he just right like like he sees right and instead of saying hi to him, he doesn't even he just doesn't even talk to him. I don't think right and uh Akira even talks to each other or acknowledge each other at any point, right? Akira just fucks off, right? He, Right and Gemba, you know Gemba's still doing whatever the whatever the fuck he he wants to do. He's like, oh, I'm not gonna fight, you know. I'll let you guys deal with it. And Akira's like, all right, all right, good luck killing yourself, you know. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go find I'm gonna go find a cliff or something to jump off of, you know. Right. Uh, hope hope you hope you get finish your mission of of of, of wanting to kill yourself, right? And then uh and then uh and then uh hey look people, so. So Taya makes this comment where uh of so Tokyo's gimmick right was uh switching was that everyone could become any color and use that and use that color's person's weapon right 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 Taya makes that comment and um I thought this was gonna lead to somewhere where all of a sudden everyone just shifts around shifts change their weapon style or something right I thought that was really but no they don't do anything with that and then uh they just beat the shit out of the the train monster. Right, and then I uh, boom these two times. Like, ah, oh, man, I got, I got, I got, I got too much of a workout, man. I, I did my running for today. I'm, I'm, I'm out. You know, uh, good, good, good luck. You know, uh, you can't, you can't rely on me. You know, yeah. But anyway, here, here's the Tokyo Dream Exhibit. Friend, this thing, I fucking hate this. This thing is so fucking ugly. You know, right? Like I said, I feel like they could have done something way better with this. You know, right? Like, what was it? What was, what was it? Uh, Lightspeed Rescue Gogo Five did a way better train gimmick, right? With their train Megazord, or even a uh, Magi Shine. From Magic Ranger, I think his thing, I think his tree was also five piece. Was a five piece tree, and I think that also worked way better. I don't know. I just always hated uh, uh Tokyo Jiro, where the fuck this stupid Megazord. 
is called. Yeah, so anyway, they beat the shit out, out of the train. Megazord then, uh, right, just disappear, leaving, uh, leaving Tokyo in Sakito. So he's like, oh, do I get this Megazord now? Is this mine? I don't know why he just magically just disappeared, right? Like that, right? Like, you know, like, just left him in the Megazord, and he just... Right, and then still, everyone still like at this point. Everyone still also doesn't know what the fucking Tokyo Jr. is, is by the way, you know, right by the end of it, yeah. But yeah, look, uh, look, it, it's like if we get him in human form, he's there for like five seconds. He immediately, just walks off. He's like, yeah, fuck this, yeah, yeah, man, I cannot. All right, this, all right, all right. I done my voice actor. I appeared on screen. Um, you, I have, you have, you have exhausted all your funds. This is as much limit as you're gonna get from me, right? So I am now literally gonna walk off screen. Right now, because the money has run out, you know, right? And uh, this week's lesson is don't play, don't play in the train railroad, you know, right? Yeah, so this was a, this was a really frivolous um, episode, right? Because then by the end of this episode, you realize that Gemba as a character is really badly written as a character. The fact that he himself cannot develop any further. Or this also just goes back to Bon Boudre as a season, right? It's like I said, like, I don't need this season to be to be high stake, highly episodic, serialized, right? But the fact that Gemba himself as a like, cannot be written better without the help of like an external force, right? Like he never figures out any of this shit by himself. He needs a guy from another season to come in and tell him, like, hey, hey man, don't kill yourself. It's not worth it. Don't jump, you know, right? The fact that none of the other Rangers, right, or anyone else in the series tells him this, right? And that you need like this external force, like an actual third party third party source from a different franchise or now from a different season to come in like hey stop it Gemba you're being a little bitch you know right hey you get over yourself you know right it's it's really bad right I, I think that comes with like a big flaw a core problem of of Blonde Boomger right with his characters right like 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 at least with um with with with, with uh, Sosuke right when going he was just there as a fun cameo service right he didn't honestly change anything within the team's dynamic right he was just like hey man what's up i'm sosuke i'm go on red let's go on room 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 right see you at power morphin con after this right like like he was just there he did his fan service thing right but the fact that you need actually a cure to show and be like hey stop that stop that don't, don't do it you know it's really bad it's really bad for the show's progression and the writing right and his cast of characters right the fact that these characters themselves cannot solve their own problem right like like i would be fine if i could just came up and be like hey man i'm just here i'm just gonna give you like some some actual little like fun little tidbit right like, like these are tips that the characters themselves should be able to figure out you know but he actually has to come in and say like this major this major line but like yeah man hey you know man suicide's bad you know right hey contact contact the national suicide hotline if, you know if you're ever feeling down it's, it's just really bad right yeah so it's cool, and also, hey, they don't have Akira transform, so I think that's also a big fucking waste, yo. I really want him to transform and then just take over Genba's spot, you know, in the team, right? Like, it's fun that they redid the, the Tokyo um, team post thing. Like, hey, Tokyo is like my favorite season, right, of all time. It's like one of my favorite Sentai season, right? And the fact that uh, they don't have him transform, so it, it fucking sucks, you know, right? But yeah, uh, that's this week's episode. Um, I don't really have much else uh, to say about it. Or anything. Right? So, uh, I feel like this... I like this should have just been, like, a fan service episode, right? I mean, it was a fan service, but, like, it should not have any plot relevance within the show. You know? Like, like, like at least when, when uh... Right? When, when, uh, when the AI... When they use fucking speed or to figure out how to make the AI... At least that's, like, really low minimal impact, right? I don't... Like, crossover should not have big impact within the show's narrative, right? Because it proves that your show cannot achieve or move further in on itself. Right, without this fucking major, without being forced to have like a relying on a crossover. If hey, they, hey, you know, hey, they should have just brought back Stinger from from Curage. As much as I hate Curage, they should have had Stinger show up and be like, "Hey, man, stop that!" As another Orange Ranger, hey, stop that! Are they gonna keep bringing back? I uh, mean, I feel like this would have been a perfect time to have Stinger come back too, you know, and be like, "Hey, man, the path of revenge is not good," you know. I killed my brother by the end of my revenge story, you know. Um, it doesn't relate to yours. Oh, not really, but hey, I'm just telling you that's my that's my revenge story when I when I walked off of my episode when I walked off my team for like three episodes. But at least when I did that, I got a movie, you know, right? You're I don't know if you're gonna get a movie for your shit for your uh, little off off episode adventures. All right, I think that's all I really have to say about this episode. Right, uh, Tokyo is great. I hate the Tokyo Megazord, and um, 
And, uh, hey, uh, contact the National Suicide Hotline uh, if you ever need help, you know. Right, uh, Logic released a song where the where the name of the song was that episode. Uh, I mean, what was that number? All right, that's this week's episode. Okay, thanks, bye.